welcome, welcome. I thought I'd try something different. Speedball 2 on Xbox Live Arcade. Lost to Time, delisted in 2009, originally launched in 2007. Under Empire Directive, it's a bit map, Empire Interactive, it's a bit Matt Brothers game. Uh, obviously, very famous if you're an Amiga user, ST user, I think it was on the Commodore 64, Mass System, Mega Drive ported to a number of places. Fantastic game. Um, unfortunately, the only way you can play it today is if you actually did purchase it for that short period of two years on Xbox Live Arcade. Or um, if, like uh, me here, you've got a modded Xbox and you've secured the files from archive.org or somewhere else. Here we can see the achievements, uh, the menu screen, uh, the presentation isn't, I don't think, as great, uh, out of game as it was in the Amiga, but uh, here's some help how to play files. You can obviously hit pause and have a read if you wish. Um, it's available in two flavours of upgraded graphics or the original Amiga uh, audio and, and graphics. One thing here that I learned off the instructions that I didn't know on the original Amiga was that you can have a high pass and low pass. Um, here we can toggle between the enhanced mode, which wasn't very highly reviewed at the time. I do remember seeing this uh, at, at the time. I did download the demo, but never purchased the full title. But we're going to have a go at the original graphics, which I believe you couldn't do in the demo. Um, there's achievements, uh, leaderboards obviously don't work anymore, you can play offline multiplayer or you can um, play on Xbox Live if you can find anyone that still has a legit copy. Um, it's got all the uh, you know the quick match and knockout and tournament modes that are in the Amiga version, so I'll just have a quick look at the knockout mode here. Again the presentation here I don't think is a patch on the original Amiga version which had the lovely stadium graphics and the rest. Okay, that's crack on with a knockout, you can obviously um, upgrade your player's attributes, uh, again just going around the presentation here, so yeah let's get stuck in to, to a game, so uh, yeah here it is, it's kind of uh, upscaled uh, Amiga version, so it's got the Amiga, the original OCS version, I know the AGA had a slightly funky colour scheme going on, um, but you know the aim of the game I guess is you know score, score goals or, or get bonus points from hitting the stars on the side, the, the little uh, extras and things that you can knock out here. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll see in a moment, because uh, I'm retrospectively, retrospectively commentating here, that yeah, smashing the keeper and scoring is definitely the way to go. Um, but it's been a while since I've played the Amiga version. Um, I had wanted to play this, but obviously it was delisted. Uh, Empire Interactive went into liquidation in 2009. It also meant that uh, another title that they ported to Xbox Live Arcade, Double Dragon, was also lost and delisted, but uh, thanks to a modded Xbox and the files, you can secure those and play them uh, on a, a modded 360. So it was nice to give this a look, and obviously a large, number, a large amount of time has passed, 13 years or so, uh, since time of recording, since this was uh, available. So it's sort of been lost to time, really. Uh, Speedball 2 is now obviously available on the Amiga Mini, uh, which is uh, which is good. They've obviously whoever owns the rights, that's obviously all been patched up. But uh, yeah, this is long gone, and one of the challenges of um, digital content is obviously rights delisting whether you ever own it. Obviously, if you had a physical copy, it'd be good. But here I'm warming up, just getting used to to the game again. As I mentioned, in the control scheme help. I forgot you could do a low pass and high pass, or I never realised because I had a copied disc, so that, that was one learning. You can, uh, that was a great save there. Ah, and then they scored. Um, that you can put after touch on the ball. Again, I probably didn't realise that at the time. Um, and you can kind of make that work on the control stick, because um, I'm using the 360 controller here. Although I do feel that the Amiga joystick, like a zip stick or Competition Pro, affords you greater precision. But as you can see, it flows at a heck of a rate, so I feel this is marginally faster than the ori original Amiga release. Maybe it's because in PAL it was you know, at 50 frames a second, and maybe this is 60. Um, but it goes at a fair old whack. Uh, and certainly this is the Amiga. I wonder if it's um, uh, emulated, um, possibly, I don't know. Um, but definitely the Amiga DNA is here, audio-wise and graphical-wise. Um, so it goes at a fair old rate. Yep, smash the keeper, and I put some curve on the shot here, even though I was throwing into an empty goal. So, uh, after touch for that Sensi Soccer uh, appears to be a thing here. 
believe this was released in, was it 1990, 91? Um, still holds up, there's a lot of gameplay value here, it'd be great to play it uh, against real people, I only really played it against the computer. Uh, you can score points by hitting the stars on the side, going around the, um, uh, the ramp in the middle. Um, oh, and the opposition scored there, don't know what the keeper was doing, went AWOL. So the scores are 46, 35, I think you get two points for most of the bonusy things at the side like the stars and I think you get 10 points for, for smashing it in the goal. Um, but you know, what what a, what a title this was, it's been such a long time since uh, I played this. And it was a real pleasure to fire this up and uh, familiarise myself with this game again. Um, I know that there's Speedball 2 HD and Speedball Evolution. Uh, which have come out subsequently. I don't know how strong they are, um, but certainly this this is great. You can see the the uh, winning screen here. Not a patch on the original Amiga. Again, I think the outer game presentation is is you know could have been better. There's some stats. Again, you would have had the bitmap uh, brothers graphics on that. And again, you can update the attributes. Um, so I'm going to step out of this uh, menu here and just take a few looks at a few looks uh, at the other bits and pieces um, that are available in game. So yeah, leaderboards obviously we're not going to be able to connect to achievements we've seen, help and options, uh, and uh, here's the credits. So I'll let these credits play out. Kudos to everybody that was involved in the original and conversion to the 360. Uh, and at the end, a uh, lovely call out to Richard Joseph, who did a lot of work on audio. I don't know whether he worked on this conversion to the 360. I'm pretty sure he was involved in the original uh, Speedball. And I remember him certainly from Sensible Software uh, and Cannon Fodder in particular. Very much an industry legend. Unfortunately, one uh, gentleman that passed away in 2007. So you'll see him called out at the end here. Um, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to shine a light on something that had a very short life uh, on the Xbox 360. I think it cost 800 points at the time. This was in the days where it was, you know, the marketplace was based upon points and not a fixed price. So yeah, there's Richard Joseph called out there. So um, yeah, just wanted to capture that little bit of history. There aren't many videos out there on, on, on it. There are a couple. Um, so I just wanted to pay tribute to this. I'm glad I've got to play it again. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.